once it loads. Also, you might have noticed this is my first stream that I'm doing as a Twitch affiliate, so that's really exciting. I don't think I've properly got everything set up yet. I know there's the channel points thing, but uh, I don't really know whether they do anything just yet. I'm just having a look now, and it looks like there's a few things that are on there by default, so I'm not sure how you get them, but with 100 points, you can highlight a message. You can also, if I make that a bit wider so I can actually see, unlock a random something. Uh, send a message in sub-only mode. I'll figure all this out as I'm going along. There's also um, choose emotes to unlock once I get them set up. So don't spend your channel points just yet because there's nothing there. But I'll get them set up ready for the next stream, which will be on Thursday. So let's carry on from where we left off. Let me just adjust the chat. And if everything looks and sounds good, then we'll swap over to HDMI. I have arisen. I was helping Sarah try to figure out how to make her Twitch background. She wants to do uh, something with sprites, so I was showing her a program to use. Uh, oh no, am I going to have to dive under the desk? I think since I swapped things around when I was streaming the GameCube, I swapped the HDMI cables around, so bear with me one second while I fix that. should be fixed. Yay, there we go, I can actually see the game now. Perfect. So, where are we going? Although, I can't hear the game now, so what is going on with that? Hmm, no game sound for you either. Okay, it's not just me then. Let's try... Yeah, there's no game sound on the recording capture either. Uh... Audio input capture... Audio output capture. I've lost it. Where's it gone? Great start to the stream. It wouldn't be a good stream if something didn't go wrong. Hmm. Can't even see the game now. Display capture. No, that's going to capture the whole desktop. Yes, everything keeps going wrong because I've got too many cables. Right. I think you should be able to hear it now. Although it's taking up the whole screen. And it should be fixed. 
Okay. Oh, it's coming out twice. How's that? I think it should be all good now. I don't know why, but when I plugged in that other HDMI cable, it just decided to take it all out of OBS. Which doesn't make any sense. But nothing ever makes any sense. Right, anyway, we're back. Let's carry on with Klonoa 2. Pretend nothing happens. And we're going to the snowboarding level, which I remember being really fun in the original game. I don't know what this has to do with the rest of the story. Alpine Wonderland. Even though it looks different, it plays exactly the same as all the other levels. Oh my god, listen to that music. I saw someone on Twitter getting really mad because then they were trying to 100% this game. And it gets insanely challenging to try and collect all of the, uh, all of the bits on these levels. Oh yeah, let me know whether you need me to adjust the game sound, because I've had to reset it, so it might need to go a little bit quieter. So, let me know whether it's... okay. Or whether it's too loud. Whoa, now it's like F-Zero. Oh my god, I can see why why it's like impossible to 100% this game. If you miss even a single one of those gems, you have to restart the whole level from scratch. <laughs> what is this soundtrack? It's a 10 out of 10 certified banger. Oh no, didn't let me use him to jump. <laughs> what is this soundtrack? I should turn the gain all the way up just so you're forced to listen to this and nothing else. Restart you missed the gems. It would be just infuriating. I don't know how anyone's managed to 100% complete it. I don't even think you get anything for 100% completing the game anyway. No, I missed another one! So you back to the start of the level. Somehow I landed on that first one. Ah, that was close. Ah. More games should have random snowboarding levels. Sonic Adventure had one. Even Zelda Twilight Princess had one. Ah. Oh God, this music. <laughs> Let's hope it's not copyrighted. Uh, it's killing the frame rate. No, it's okay again. Can't get far enough over. Oh. 
you really don't have any control once you're in the air, so I guess you've got to try and line it up before you jump. Uh. Oh, I am supposed to be up there. And then somehow get over to that. Oh my god, I don't know how you would manage to get all these. Either that or I'm just being really bad at it. There we go. Is that the end of the level? Can we stop listening to this music now? Looks like this is the end. Clearly a bad gamer. Let's go check it out. Now, I think I'm about halfway through the game, so hopefully by the end of tonight we can finish it. And then I can start working on my video for it. Although I want to play some of the other Klonoa games as well, just to uh, make them retrospective in the future. We're going to get lost in here for sure. Why does that look like a character from Hollow Knight? Wow, easiest egg in the game. Again, another level that feels like it's out of Nights into Dreams. Hit a switch with a wind bullet or enemy to turn it on or off. Hitting switches can make blocks appear or disappear. Okay, so you hit it once and they become visible. And I presume at some point you uh, flip round onto the ceiling. Whee, there we go. That's a cool idea for a level. Huh, even they still upside down, that's cool. See, so if I'd done that upside down, I would have gone into the spikes instead, and then flip it round. Come here, Kirby enemy lookalike. I thought that was going to do something then. Mm, there must be some reason for him to respawn though. Uh, right, now we need to use him as a bomb. And then wait for that one to open. Ah, I need to go that way. That wasn't very hidden at all. Anything in there? Now I don't know whether that was the right way to go or whether this is like a little bonus area. Ah, okay. It's timed, maybe? Or they just have different symbols on because... I wonder if I can just do that. Oh no! I was trying to be clever, but now I'm stuck. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to die. There must be uh, 
some other way of getting in there. Oh, never mind. It, it's, uh, it's remembered that I picked it up anyway. Whatever. I don't need to do it the proper way. I don't need to get those gems either. Oh, I need to get him first. Oh, yeah. Use that, because that... Oh, another clever area then. So... Oh, how does this work again? You can use that to turn it into another one. But it still turns it off then. Uh, it's not going to follow me either, is it? Oh, I think I've got it. Throw that from a distance and then hit the switch while that picks it up on the other side. That's it. Is there anything on this side? This level feels kind of like a maze. Hmm. I don't know which way to go now. Okay, got some extra gems. Is that all there is? I guess this room's just for if you did try and 100% complete it then. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Nothing there? Nope. Nothing hiding in the mirror. There's some weird lines in the background, but I don't think they mean anything. Nothing on that side? Okay. Oh, there is something. No! So the whole point of going up there is kind of pointless in terms of the actual level. Uh, I need to go in there to... Oh no, the enemy's there anyway. Bring him over this side and throw him at the egg. There he is. I wouldn't mind 100% in the game if it was just to collect the, the uh, puzzle pieces. But I don't really want to complete it by collecting all the gems. Uh, is there anything here? Is this where I just came from? Yeah, this is where I just came from anyway. So... Ah, I wasn't looking. Oh no. I think I'm going the right way. I just need to keep going to the right now, I think. Oh. No, it's just taking around in circles. So I just need to go to the left instead. I did hear some people complain that some of the later levels in this game get way too long. Is he gonna let me through? Am I stuck on this side? Come on, blow up. Damn. Okay, I don't know what to do now then. anywhere else to go? Oh, there's another door behind him. How do I bring something inside here? I think I know what to do now. Uh, 
I need to... Can I do that? Yeah, that worked. Okay, that's clever. Quick! Oh, no. That was clever. That was a really, really clever way of getting to the next area. And that nice use of the mirror there. Hey, Starlock. Thanks for coming to check out the stream. Uh, every time I enter a new door, I'm just like, uh, what's going on here? That's triggering the blocks at the top. That's going to take me to where the block is. But I need to use one of those things to light, light that up. I need to use that. But I can't use that there. So I need to turn the blocks off first. So, turn the blocks off. Get the yellow thing. Um, use it to cross that gap. Use it on there. There's probably some sort of special timing that you need to use as well. Um, or maybe that's it, I just need to go and throw it. Oh no, yeah I need to flip the switch. So I need to... How am I going to do this? I need to grab... I need to throw... Throw the yellow thing at that and then run to that switch as fast as possible. No, too late. I need to somehow trigger that switch after I've picked the yellow thing up. Oh, of course. Put the bomb down there first. And then go back and get the yellow thing. Quickly. Quick! And then... Oh, no! Oh, where is he? Oh, maybe that's okay, actually, because he's on the right side now. Yes! And then bring him back over here, and then go through that door. And the stuff will be there. Yay! That's some clever level design. Okay, now what's going on in this one? You found the Japanese version of Pokemon X has an English option. Why not? Why would you? What's different about the Japanese version that you'd want to have that over the English one? Upside down somehow. Ah, do I jump up here onto the other layer? That's some clever 3D level design in 2D. Hey, someone's raiding. Hello. Thank you, uh, Tech Geek TT. Thanks. How's everyone doing? I'm in a very complicated level on Planoa 2, where I'm just constantly getting confused about everything. Whoa, now I'm upside down on this one. If I go around the other side, I can probably use that to shoot up. If we could go around here. Hey, did I get a follower? I think so. Uh, it hasn't refreshed. Thank you, Linda149. Thank you for the follow. I'm really enjoying Planoa 2. I did play it on the PS2 when it came out many, many years ago. 
but I really don't remember much about it, so I'm enjoying replaying it. Interesting or just confusing? I have no idea. <laughs> Half of this level I've just been like, uh, I got no idea what I'm doing. Where do I have to go now? I need to figure out where the next door is. No, not that door, that's the door I came from. Uh, I think. Yay, yeah, some more follows. Thank you, Only Jockey and Tech. Tech Geek. Tech. Not Tech Geek. Tech. Gek. Is that right? Let me know if I said that right. Get to that door. Well, where is the door I'm trying to get to? Am I upside down? Am I the right way up? Tech Gek is right. That's good. Jockey? Jokey? Why does everyone have usernames that I can't pronounce? so confused. I'm just going around in circles. Is this the way out, or is this the way that I just came from? It was Tech's birthday, and he was playing, and brought an after party here. Awesome! Happy birthday! What were you playing before you came over? bad at pronouncing people's names. No, I'm not. Toothy, toothy gatters. Oh, I thought I could be clever then and do two jumps in one. Wow, this level's massive. Yeah, I got all the pieces. I must be nearly done with it. Plattered the Klonoa collection. Wow. How did you manage to get all the gems? I've been getting so annoyed. I thought there's no chance that I would have the patience to do that. Was that one of the criteria? That's insane. Well done. I would not have the patience for that. Good job the Switch doesn't have achievements. Else I might be tempted. Wow, that was a long section. Gems are thankfully not required. I would have lost my line, lost your mind. Wow, yeah, thank God for that. I know someone on Twitter that I follow was trying to 100% the game by getting all of the gems, and he was just going crazy. So yeah, thank God they didn't make that a requirement. I don't think anyone would platinum it if that was the case. Or it'd be like 0.01%. Always go left, just in case. So what was the hardest bit about getting the platinum then? Did you have to find all the puzzle pieces? I'm guessing that was part of it. Whoa, okay. Okay, I can't go that way. Wow, this level is really long. Really interesting level though. Nothing there either. So, I'm guessing you need to get things and bring them with you to the different sections. So, this one can go to where that wall could have been blown up. 
which was... I don't know, I lost track. This one? No. Uh, no. I don't think you can get through there with that. Uh, I managed to... Ah! Damn. I'm... I managed to get all the gems as a kid. Cheesed it with two-player mode. Oh yeah, that would that would make it a lot easier in two-player mode. Right, let's see if I can figure out where to take this before it blows up again. This way? So you played it on the PS2 back in the day as well then. That's cool. Come on. It didn't even look like it, it was going to explode then. And then take this to the other side. Uh, now what do I need to do with this one? Well, I'm guessing I have to use it in here. Yeah, so I just need to go and throw it at the other enemies. That shouldn't be... <laughs> I spoke too soon. So I need to bring him to the room with the yellow thing. Drop him on the floor. Drop him there on the floor and then throw that at it. Hopefully that comes into the other room with me. Oh no! It didn't follow me. Okay, so you have to wait until it's actually connected first. I like this background music. It's quite relaxing. Okay, let's try again. Throw it down there, and I'm just going to wait for it. Okay, now I can go through the door. Good. Does that make it blue? Yep. Now we're just going to take it to the one. Better than the snowboarding music. What are you on about? Like I said, that's a that's a ten out of ten certified banger. Nothing beats that snowboarding music. I'm going to clear every other song off my phone and just have that snowboarding music on there from now on. Please don't. Next time we're doing anything together and there's a Bluetooth speaker, that's what I'm putting on. I don't know what's going on there. Why is she so upset? There's no way you can become a priestess, being as weak as you are. Give up, it's for your own good. Listen to the snowboarding music, it'll cheer you up. You don't have what it takes, you're nothing but a failure and embarrassment to us all. I'm not a failure. Why are they being so horrible? But I... I, I just want to listen to the snowboarding music. The dream traveller will save the world when the sea of tears grows stormy. The power of the ring. The ring shall bring peace to the world. Why is this like one of those creepy nightmare scenes in Twilight Princess. I know I have what it takes. I've learnt all the words to the snowboarding song. I'll show them.
I didn't become a priestess on my own. I didn't become... All I wanted to do was show them that I could become a priestess. That was your power which got me the title, not me. If I understood what was going on, I'd be sad. <laughs> Yay, level complete. Wonder how many more levels there are. I feel like I'm about halfway through. But I think I've been saying that for a while. Uh, is there any way of seeing how many levels there are? There's a summary. I'm guessing that's just a summary of... So there's nine more, if that's the case, and I've done... I've done 13, and there's nine left, so I'm a little bit more than halfway through. And... Oh no, the pixel filter! Oh, uh, uh, look at that! Actually, it doesn't look as bad, maybe that's just because there's a lot of white on the screen. But I remember in the first game, when you were actually in the level, it just crushed everything and it looked horrible. But let's see. Let's see whether they improved it for the second one. Uh, Parasocial69. Hi there, Mr. Retro Break. Wanted to wish you the best of success here on Twitch. Cheers. Thank you. I actually saw your name pop up when I was fixing the layout, so thanks. You can have your shout out now. So, this is the bell of indecision. What the heck is this withered old tree doing in the way? The pixel view. I don't know whether I can turn it off in the cutscene, I might end up skipping it. What the heck is this withered old tree doing in the way? Excuse me for being so withered. My, my, strangers are an uncommon sight in this part. Especially bit crushed strangers like these guys. So it appears you are seeking the bell of indecision. A fifth bell is about to make its way into the world. We need the element to contain it. Contain it? Ha 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 ha! What's so funny? Why do you wish to save the world? Huh? Why have you taken such a task upon yourselves? Ain't like you need a reason to save the world. Now, is that really true? The girl doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> Don't insult Lolo. I had no such intention. You must first pass the test. Tell me what the test is. Hatch a giant egg. What's wrong now? She's having another nightmare. What are you doing, you dummy? Without you, he can't use his ring. Oh. She's got all depressed. Oh god, I'm gonna have to turn that filter off. I can't see anything. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh no, I haven't got my ring. So, I'm guessing I just have to avoid a lot of stuff. Just gets faster and faster. Like, oh wow, yeah, it gets a lot faster. His name is Polonti the Hatchling. There, oh, oh god, I could have got a heart then. Ah, oh, damn it. There's something about fictional languages that you find charming. Loved it in Ico especially, or Eco. Uh, I love Eco as well. Maybe that's a game I could stream in the future. I want to get the HD version on the PS3. Um, I've been getting back into PS3 recently. I might actually order that after this if it's not too expensive. That was definitely one of my favourite games on the PS2. 
Just the atmosphere of it is so unique. Like, the whole game is like one really interesting big Zelda dungeon. I love it. I thought it was a lot more interesting than Shadow of the Colossus, but for some reason that's the game that became popular out of the two on the PS2 and not Eco. But I think Eco is the more interesting game of the two, personally. Although I really didn't think much of The Last Guardian. Maybe I should go back and try and play that at some point. You're just going to stand there? Well, I'm not qualified to save the world. Who cares about qualifications, you dummy? Look at him. He's not even from this world, but he's given everything he's got to fight Lunatea. You think he's trained so hard because he wants to save the world? No, it's because he's a simple fool who doesn't know any better. But he keeps on fighting because all he knows is to keep on trying. Is he calling me a simple fool? And Lolo, you're just as bad a fool. The least you can do is keep trying. I think that little guy just loves to call people fools for no good reason. Yeah, that cheered everyone up. You called me a fool. Well, ha! Exactly as I just said. You called me a fool. Was that supposed to cheer me up? You mad? I would be. Kick him down the slope. Feed him to the weird egg creature. Well, can I never ever forgive me? I'd say lending a hand wouldn't hurt on that account. Yeah. Right. Highly recommend the PS3 twin pack. I've stuck with the PS3 yeah. menu themes that come bundled with the game ever since. That's cool. I believe it has 3D support as well, doesn't it? Not, not that I've got a 3D TV anymore, but that was something cool, you know, for it back in the day. Yeah, I really want to play it again, so maybe I will track down that double pack. Although, it's kind of a slow game, so maybe it's not great for streams. I do want to play it again. Am I supposed to... Oh, yeah, of course, I've got my power back. I thought I just had to keep trying to boost into him. Ah, damn it, only one attack that time. So for everyone who came over from the raid, have you guys all played Klonoa before? What's your favourite game in the series? If you have played any? I used to think my favourite was this one, but the first one that I ever played was the GBA game, so maybe I prefer that one. It's a bit more puzzle based, the GBA one. Uh, the first one anyway, I don't really know what the second one's like. I do have all the games though, because I'm planning to do a retrospective on the series at some point in the future. Is he dead? I think he is dead, I just went straight through him. Okay, that was weird. They just forgot to do anything with his body. Are my lights changing colour or are they just constantly purple? I think I've set it. Oh no, it is changing, just really slowly. Aha, I must say, well done, well done. Second GBA game is pretty similar. That's good, I like the first one. It apparently it was made by a different team, that's why I wasn't sure. Uh, all of you know it was your determination in particular that impressed me. And the results are what matter in this world. We mirror mirrors are an indecisive people. Doubt is a part of us all, a part we can't deny. But if you can accept doubt and move forward, everything else will eventually fall into place. 
take the element. Thank you very much. He should have been like, uh, maybe, maybe you can take the element, maybe not, I don't know, if you feel like it, I guess. But yeah, there we go, next part of the game complete. Save complete. And do we go back to the hub world now? Or to the, the grandpa in the middle? Yeah, looks like it. Let's go and find out where we go next. Hope you're all enjoying this stream. I'm definitely going to be playing more of the Klonoa games after this one. So if you're following, uh, stay tuned. I'll try and do I'll try and do a stream every Monday and Thursday, I think. I also want to start playing through the Sonic games too. So if you're interested in Sonic, then uh, look forward to those as well. Now, all the elements have been gathered, except for the one Lee Arena got away with. Leave it to us, we'll get it back. Don't be so hasty. First, show me the elements you have in hand. That makes four. Huh? Hey, hold it, pal. You don't smell like Baguji. What does that smell like? You don't say. Leorina. Seems like Baguji had an errand to run. Quite convenient, yes? An errand? He isn't here? Catch! And now, my victory is complete. What the? Now I have all of them. Now I will make them pay with tranquility, joy, discord, and indecision. Maybe. The ones who abandoned me and this world. The ones who abandoned me and this world. I'll make them all pay! I'll read the rest of the chat once this cutscene's over. Oh no! Now what do we do? It's odd how Baguji just vanished. Maybe we should go and see, well, the High Priestess? Yeah. Oh no, what was that? The chaos is growing. Come on, we better hurry. Yep, clearly they were the Dragon Balls. Or the Chaos Emeralds. This game's equivalent. Okay, now we're going to find the Priestess. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, I was surprised to see years later, when The Last Guardian made its debut, that I was gifted a free set of PSN avatars for the purchase of the PS3 Twin Pack. Didn't know they kept track of such things, but I appreciated the gesture. That's cool. No, I didn't know that either. I guess some PS3 games did have little bonus things like that, didn't they? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I imagine that despite being made by different developers, Namco kept eyes on the development. Yeah, probably. I mean, considering there's not that many releases, they probably wanted to make sure that the quality was on a certain level. So that makes sense. I've got the second one for the GBA, but I've never actually played it. So I'll be interested to see what it's like. I've only got the Japanese version though, so I don't know if it's story heavy. I might try and track down, uh, track down an English one first. Right, so what is going on in this level? Do I need to go up or down? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't want to go one way in case I miss out on something. Okay, I can come back up if I need to. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no! I hate controlling them things! You got a... you got the first one on Virtual Console and the second one is a USA copy. Is it story heavy? Or will I be okay with the Japanese one? I think it's quite expensive now. 
I was having a look on eBay. I think it's like £100-ish. Which I don't mind paying, because I've, I've paid a lot more than that for some games. But if I've already got it, I'd rather not spend that money. If I don't have to. Ah! The timing for that's weird. It's crazy how much all the Klonoa games have gone up in price. I'm sure that game used to be like 20 quid and now it's 100 or more. Oh, damn it. Good job they respawn. Maybe just a series of puzzle and platforming challenges. Yeah, I think that's what the first one's like, so... Maybe I'll give it a go and see whether I actually... Uh, you know, need to understand anything. I have a very rudimentary understanding of Japanese, so I might just be able to get by. I don't really understand the stories or whatever. Yeah, the GBA games definitely don't have as much story as these PS1 and 2 ones. Especially the PS2 one. This one's got loads of cutscenes and stuff. The air around the statues is breathable. If we dash from statue to statue, we should make it to the temple. At least, I hope we can. So, we'll need to stop at each one. The earthquakes change the path to the temple. I hope we can still get there. Don't worry, we'll be okay. Let's go. Mm, the air ain't bothering me. It must be real inconvenient for you guys, though. Sit close to the statues of the High Priestess. Your air supply won't go down if you stray away. Okay, where's my air supply? Ah, uh, I'm scared already. Ah, uh, no, I've already messed up. How am I... Yeah, I got it. I love these challenges with this enemy. They're really clever. Right, let's hope the air regenerates. Yeah, it does. That's good. Uh, use him as a platform. What's the point of that spring? What is the point of that spring? It didn't do anything. Weird alien music in this one. Is anyone excited for the English version translation of the Summer Vacation Shinchan game? I I love the look of it. It's the one that looks like Attack of the Friday Monsters, isn't it? Is that actually officially coming out in English? Or is it a fan translation that's happening? I would love to play it. The I know everyone calls it a Ghibli aesthetic, but you know what I mean. It looks really nice. There was there was a load of them on the PS1. They all look really have a really dreamy feel to them. Uh, oh, I remember this level. This was another complaint that I heard about Klonoa 2. There's there's a few times like this where you end up repeating the same stages, but I don't really mind. I mean, they tweak the levels enough. Can I not grab him? Yeah, I can. Uh, can I go far enough? No. Yeah, if you had to collect all the gems, I'd be going insane right now. Uh, that's the one just heard that an official English translation will debut next month, digital only for now. Hey, that's cool though. I'm glad it's actually getting a translation. I guess they saw how excited everyone was for it on Twitter, because it really does look nice. 
so that's great. Great news. Have you ever played Attack of the Friday Monsters on the 3DS? Such a good game. Uh, uh, do I throw that from here? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was where that monster comes out and eats you was, but apparently... Oh, there he is! Oh, no! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew he'd be around here somewhere. And I'm going to run out of air. Eat it. Where's the statue? There's one. That was close. I was nearly out of air then. Ah! Oh, okay, I get it. I'm going to throw it from over there. Uh, is he going to be interested long enough? Yeah, just about. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I thought that might happen. The only game I have is Shin Chan 4 on the Game Boy. Chan 4 on the Game Boy. Was that one that they made a bootleg Mario game out of? If you know what I'm on about there. I think it might be. So how do I do this? Ah, I get it. What? Oh no, the air! Oh. Yeah, Mario Bros. 4. I've got it. I've got it in my Game Boy collection over there. I'm I knew it was a Shin Chan game. Is it the weird one where you walk around like throwing mushrooms at things? Or I guess they might have changed the sprite to make it a Mario theme. Oh, there's a coin over there. Um, I haven't given it a gander yet, but I'm excited to. May as well add the Shin Chan series to my research dive. Yeah, go for it. See if you can track down the PS1 games. Ah, oh, I forgot to throw it. Uh, English TV dub seems pretty special. Uh, they've played up the crude humour. That's cool. I would be interested in playing the Game Boy one, just to see how much they butchered it to turn it into a Mario game. I do think that's pretty funny. They did the same with Sonic in a Speedy Gonzales game on the Game Boy as well. Right, throw that first. There we go. Yay, I'm free. I had to look at Game Boy's channel the other day. He hasn't uploaded a video in ages, which is a shame. Hope he's doing okay. I'll go and get the gems. Sure. Ah, freeze him first. What's up with this weird camera angle? You don't need to lock that high up. That was easy. Busy with real life stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it happens. Life gets in the way sometimes. Instead of the other way around, making things to get in the way of life. I need lots of things to throw on the floor. Ah, yes, I like this one. Whee. Oh no, I'm running out of air! I'm gonna die. Any seconds. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dead. 
Damn it. How am I supposed to do this fast? I didn't notice that coin there last time. Hold on. Come on, I'm getting scared now. I might need to get back to the statue. Ah. How am I supposed to go that high? Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Ah! Oh god, that was close. Yeah, I just remembered the statues are back down there. So I need to bring that rocket one. I need to bring that rocket one down here. Oh, okay, I get it. So I gotta take him down here and break open that. And then take the rocket one on the other side. Take him up here. Mm, there's still something else on this side I want to get though. Like. Gotta go all the way back round to get the rocket one. Can't they move him closer when you get that far? Oh, it's not going to take me high enough anyway. How am I supposed to get that? Get the helicopter thing, maybe. Uh, can I get in there without... Maybe if I use this one to do a double jump. Come on. Is he not going to come back? There he is. Oh no! I forgot about the air limit. Quick! Ah, uh, that was close. Okay, and go up here, grab that, bring that this way. And go up. Yay, there we go. And I'm going to go and get some more air, just to be safe. Take the rocket thing on the other side, maybe. Is there anything in there? No. Worth a try. And then feed him to that. Ah! Oh, what? I fed him to that. That's not fair. Ah, oh, now I'm dead again. I thought I picked all the gems up there. That was weird. Throw it sooner. I can't even remember what the normal version of this level was like now. This one's so different. Oh, I remember this bit. This is the first level, isn't it? Except now it looks like I've got to do something with this. Okay, that doesn't destroy anything. But I must need that for something, so... Let's see if we can take it with us. Why do I need that? Must be near the end of the stage, I've got all the puzzle pieces. Uh... Oh, I didn't even realise he'd gone blue then. Okay, that one's too far away.
Is that wasp thing going to come back? Okay, stay there. I'm still confused where I need to use this. Oh, damn it. I know I've got to use it somewhere. Whoa, that hit him. Don't lie. What? Is there no reason for it? I'm so confused. What? What? I didn't need to use it at all. Okay, what? It just doesn't make any sense. Right, what is going on now? She was the priestess we once knew as Leo. The priestess? Leo too was once a, uh, a no... No vid no vitiate but one day during her training how long must i continue to be useless you mustn't try to rush things you cannot expect to attain peace in the world with a hasty soul yes yes no yes good night yes i fast forwarded that I'll find my own means for achieving power. Surely the gods will recognize me then. Yes, I'll show them. My power will exceed that of the gods. Those were Leo's last words before she left, and there was nothing we could do. In her haste to gain power, she lost sight of her true calling and priestess. No, she's going to turn into Super Leonia and go bright yellow and fly off into space. Okay. What is she trying to do? We could not bear you. The fifth bell, it has appeared. You must contain this terrible power. I'm fast forwarding slowly. Ah, damn it! I want to fast forward these awkward pauses without skipping the text. Alright, here we come, vision clear. I may have missed a little bit there, but I get the gist of it. Let's go. Still got quite a lot left. Seven more. Maybe I won't finish it tonight then. I thought I might. Dark Sea of Tears. 
hit a flow low with a wind bullet and it will light up the area around Klonoa for a brief time. Look out, if you don't shine some light with flow low lows, Greeps won't creep up and attack. Oh no, not the Greeps. Anything but the Greeps. Greep. What is a Greep? Is it that? I'm not going to find out. a bit of health though. Oh well, we got one heart back anyway, so that's that's something that's good. I love the light in with this. That's really cool. Especially inside this cave. Ah! Oh, what? He attacked me as I picked him up. That's not fair. There's an egg back there. Oh yeah, I forgot they, they bounce around everywhere if you stand on the edge of them. There's an egg. How do I get to the egg? Can I use this guy? No, that's too far away, surely. Yeah, I thought so. Must have to come come out from a different angle. Or I've just missed it completely. Maybe. Why are you there? Oh, I need both of them. Yay, I got all my hearts back at least. Uh, you're not going to turn around? Nope. If this was a Mario game, you could jump off those bullets. Okay, that's the end of that path. This seems weirdly easy so far. Considering that the last few levels have been kind of challenging. It's weird that this one seemed like it was going to be difficult and it wasn't. Oh, okay. How do I get to either of them? Ah! Risu Chu subscribed! Yay, thank you! Did it pop up on the bottom of the screen okay? Ah! Ah, oh, no! Yeah, it did! It's got that cool explosion too. Now commission you. You already made the layout for me. What else do you want to do? Make some emotes. Commission you. I live with you. I just I just bought you lunch. <laughs> We've got a new badge. Ah! I'm so excited I got a subscriber. I keep dying. What does the badge say? First, you're my number one fan. Ah! Oh, and to the gates did as well. Oh, thank you. You're my number two fan. I'll have to figure out how to get some, like, subscriber special things that you can get now. 
not summon until I play Shadow. Right, that's it. We're not playing Kalinara anymore. We're going to swap to Shadow right now. I actually, I was actually um, looking on YouTube at Shadow the Hedgehog stuff the other day just so I could remember what it was like and I ended up watching like half an hour of a Let's Play. It's not that bad. People like to make fun of it. I feel like I've missed something, I'm just rushing forward on this one. Yay, two subs! Did you get a crown? Was that your extra thing? Uh, yeah, I'm going back on myself. Play Sonic 06 first. I had Sonic 06 on this desk yesterday. I found it when I was looking through my PS3 games. Oh yeah, flying emotes. I remember I put that in there. Yeah, spam the chat with emotes and you can see them flying around in that bit in the middle of the screen. Yay! They look pretty cool too. I want to get the Pokemon things that you told me about. Maybe that's what I can figure out how to do next time. I love all the little interactive things that you can do on here. Yes, tea please. I would accept a cup of tea. Oh, I missed one. Missed two. That's weird. The cutscene just triggered just as he was about to walk off the off the ledge. Stop this, Leonira. Leonira? Leonira? I forgot what her name is. <laughs> hmm, it's too late. With this power, I will transform! I shall teach the world sorrow. I shall teach the world the joys of Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06. When this game came out, neither of those existed. Just shadow. So I saw it the time. Huh? There it is. One day.
but you can't wait to meet classic characters such as the general. I missed what was going on in the cutscene, mate. There's a weird airship. Ah, I skipped it. They say that Ark once travelled the world. I've been thinking, if there's a fifth bell, shouldn't there be a fifth kingdom as well? Then that Ark will connect this world to the fifth kingdom? You can't be serious, what do you think would happen if that occurs? We'd better go too, follow that Ark. The Space Colony Ark. Where Shadow the Hedgehog was born. Vision clear. Now I've finished all my tango just in time for a cup of tea. Save complete. <laughs> Oh, apparently I missed one of the puzzle pieces. And... Oh, it doesn't tell you how many gems that there were in the area anyway. Right, empty sea of tears. That sounds nice. I saw someone try to use my video of Sonic Adventure 2 to tell Nintendo Life that the game was better than the 6 out of 10 they gave it. They only gave it a 6 out of 10. Clearly, they don't know a classic when they play one. Okay. Now, apparently that just means another sandboarding level. I can't see what's going on. It's going to be like a Crash Bandicoot style chase thing. Hey, or like Sonic Adventure 2. Like when you're running away from the gun truck in, in the first level. Oh, what's up with the music? Why is it... Why is it not crazy like the snowboarding one? They use your gameplay video to say look at this amazing level in gameplay. What level were they showing to try and say it was worth more than a 6 out of 10? Metal Harbor, that's my favourite level in Sonic Adventure 2. Or maybe one of the final levels, like Crazy Gadget. They're just awesome. Oh, you made me want to play Sonic Adventure 2 as well, now. I'll get to that eventually. I'm going to play through all the Sonic games. Uh no! Sonic Advance is the next one. It was Metal Harbor, I thought it would be. That's gotta be easily in like the top five Sonic levels of all time. It just flows so well.
no Tony would have gave it a six on a good day. What did you rate the game then? In my heart, I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but if I'm being actually critical of the game, it's probably 7.5. There's a lot they could have done better. But I didn't care at the time. I loved it. Oh, no. Between a five and a six, really? I take it you're not a fan of the treasure hunting stages then. Oh my god, I'm not doing very well on this level. Two out of ten. I think you're mixing it up with Shadow the Hedgehog, right? Ah! He's about to get eaten. I don't like those giant mouths in the floor. That's creepy. Oh, you don't like the cart levels? I like the cart levels. Once you get used to the controls, they're fun. Ah, uh, missed it. Never mind. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I can't just keep going full speed. Okay, I get it. They're all bowing to me. Help me, help me, help me. Yeah, honestly, compared to Sonic Adventure 1, I prefer the uh, the minigame in Twinkle Park where you're going around on that Dodgem car instead, instead of the kart levels from Adventure 2, but taken on their own, they're pretty fun. And I used to enjoy playing the kart in, like, minigame on its own as well that you could unlock in battle. I think it was in the first one, too. The world belongs to me. I will be the saviour of this world. With this power, I shall change the world. Ah, uh, what's happening? The power of sorrow. So emo. Okay, it turned her into a dinosaur. Makes sense. A weird metal dinosaur. Embryo Compass. The name doesn't make any sense. What is that? Okay, I can't use that. These levels, these boss fights, do just feel like Sonic Adventure bosses. Yay, tea time. Thank you. Look those Skittles. Huh? Can you see him? You. Say hi to Skittles! He's so big! Oh my god. Hi! Has he been outside? Hmm. 
my god, I can't believe how big he is already. Do I have to use both of them? Oh no! I missed it. Yeah, I was meant to use both. Oh, oh, oh dear. I didn't do that very well. Yeah, it's definitely got a really strong Nights into Dreams feel. Apparently it wasn't intentional, because I read an interview with the developers and they said they'd never played Nights into Dreams, but I don't know whether I believe them or not. And I've still never played Balan Wonderworld, so I don't know about that. Should I play it? Has anyone played it? I was just put off after how bad the demo was. I was really looking forward to it as well. Like, I even... I even kind of enjoyed uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier, which I know a lot of people really don't like. So, you know, when you do Naka's next game with him, I was excited to begin with. Yeah, very dreamy time of game development, for some reason. Hey, got him. Yeah, definitely has a very strong Nights into Dreams vibe. But yeah, apparently, just a coincidence. But I don't know whether that's true or not. Like, even the way all the bosses are in 3D is basically like how Nights into Dreams was. Uh, I probably could have done that sooner. Hey! Okay, that made up for it. Is he going to come back around? Wow, okay. It suddenly got really easy. No, he's mad. What's going on now? Oh, she's mad, sorry. No, she's mad. Uh, no, I'm gonna die soon. Okay, and go! Yeah, you just have to time it well. Oh, that was the last hit! Yay, that was a cool fight. I love the boss fights in this game, they're all so unique. And the fact that this one ties in with the story really nicely as well, that's cool. Did Billy Hatcher also have a dream theme? Uh. I guess kind of. I don't think it was like technically in a dream, but it does have a really dreamy style to it, and the character wakes up from being asleep, so I guess that kind of counts. Ah, uh, Billy Hatcher. Maybe I should play that on stream at some point, too. I missed a bit there. More like it used me. I knew I was just a fake. Neither priestess nor saviour. Nothing more than a fool. Leorino. Damn it, damn it all. Power is worthless. It cannot even overcome sorrow. Well, no, you must stop the creature of sadness. You cannot let it consume this world. Stop the Ark before it connects the Kingdom of Sorrow to this world. You and Kalanoa can do it. After all, you've made it this far. I'll do it. Okay, let's stop that Ark. Let's go, gang. The crows were trying to create Everlasting Night. Has a story connection to an old rooster story. I can't remember the name of it offhand. Okay, so it wasn't a completely unique idea then. Dip. 
I just remember that really cool opening CG cutscene and that amazing theme tune that goes along with it. And something about smelly sleeping bags. If that's what the lyric is, I always heard that. Uh, what we've got to do is stop all three engines. Let's go then. Oh god, not another one of these levels. The Ark revisited. The last one of these took ages to get through. Deeply philosophical vibes of early 2000s games. Yeah, I guess they are. Like the um, the themes and the thoughts behind them are really interesting. And you would not have you wouldn't have appreciated that as a kid. So yeah, that is that is really cool. And I just got another follower. I can't see who it is though. One second. Thank you to Leslie Nielsen. Thank you. And thanks for the congratulations on affiliate as well. I only just started streaming last month, so it's still kind of new to me. But I am enjoying it. But if you don't know, I spend most of my creating hours over on over on YouTube. Ah, this cool. So we're, we're actually doing this level backwards now compared to how it was before. Follow on Twitter as well. Oh, thank you. Can I follow back? If I remember after this, I'll just see if I can find you. Uh, right, where are we going now? Not that way? I think we, yeah, we needed a key to get through there. Which must be on the other side of this. Um, is the game too loud or is it okay? Because it seems like the game's got louder as, a, as I've been playing. Okay, just let him charge into me, sure. Is he going to come back? Did he just walk down the pit? No. Audio seems fine. Oh, that's good. Maybe it's just got louder in my headphones for some reason. Uh, right, let's just jump back down then. Oh, there he is. Okay. Any reason for him to be there? Nope. I see why some people complain about this game reusing levels. It does just seem like padding, because we've already been through all these. Oh, no! Why didn't it send me back? No, it doesn't want to. There we go. Nothing new under the sun. Something's always based on something. There's no original ideas, apparently. Uh, let's stop it. Let's throw that boomy into the engine. Wouldn't be so bad if you could speedrun as fast as me. Oh yeah, you completed this level in like 40 seconds, didn't you? I remember. Throw that boomy into the engine. Whoops. Oh yeah, 43.2, sorry, yeah. I overestimated your abilities, say in 40 seconds. Ah, go away. Ah, oh, I thought I could I thought I could trick it then. You have to do that bit really fast then. To be able to clear the way. Alright, this is it. Blah 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 blah. Fast forward. Wow 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 wow. Ah, did I miss? 
think I missed. Now he's stuck. What? Ah, uh, that just glitched out. That shouldn't. Be, that shouldn't have happened. Oh yeah, I guess I don't need to do it fast. I can just put him on the floor. I was overthinking that. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I'm so used to having to like do those bits really fast. That ought to do it. Two more to go. Hey, wait a sec. Run for it! Uh, am I... Oh god, I'm not even running the right way. I'm... Where do I need to go? Run back to where I came from? Is it going to open up another area? I've probably messed this up by going the wrong way already. Let's get out of here! Can I get those other gems? Ah, uh, I got two of them. Oh no! Oh no, I've messed this up! I'm gonna blow up along with the bomb. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, I know there's a time limit and it's counting down fast. Start. I'm dead. Okay, let's see whether we can figure this out now. Okay. I'm going to go left straight away this time. I think I might know what I need to do. I probably need to go up where that, like, windmill thing is. Up here. Go this way. Grab that bomb, maybe? Use him as a double jump. Ah, oh, no. Maybe I don't need to. Yeah, I don't need to. Uh, okay, I've got to use him as a platform over there. Is this the right way? No! It's not the right way anyway. Well, there was something over there at least, so it wasn't completely worth worthless. Although I'm going to get blown up again now anyway. Uh, again, I was overthinking it. I bet I just needed to go out that door there. Yeah, run Wario style. And again, I'm wasting time. I don't even know what those coins do. I love those level designs in the later Wario Land games. We have to get to the end of the level and then run all the way back again. Okay, I've got it this time. Oh, I said that last time. Hey, the platform actually helped me. Okay, come on. Easy. Uh, hopefully that's it. Yay! Ah! Hey, Tap, just for the record, I don't like you. You were mean to Leorina in the past. You ain't so bad after all. Shut up and hang on. Oh, I remember this bit. This was a bit I got really confused at before. No time limit yet. Oh, I don't need that. I'll save that for if I do need it later. Oh, I'm glad that didn't blow that Oh, no! I was about to say I'm glad that didn't blow up when I got squashed, but I blew myself up anyway. Well, I'm going to get that heart. Do I need this? Yep. Yeah. Right, 
we're going to go and detonate the second one now. Not quite yet. We have to do more of the same le uh, levels over and over again. Uh, into the lava. There's something up there as well. I remember finding that out the first time. I'm getting really confused because I didn't know how you were supposed to break through. Although... I'm not sure... Oh, you probably just need to grab it when you're on that platform. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Nearly enough for an extra life. Which I actually need. I didn't realise I've only got three lives. Ah, two now. Oh my god, I need to start being more careful. These levels are definitely getting a lot harder. I was complaining at the start of the game that it was too easy. Ah, oh, just made it. I was close. I still can't remember what the coins do. Hey, anyone watching? What do the coins do again? Ow. There's another one there. Oh uh, no, I should have used that before, not okay. Uh, what is that actually doing? Okay, I just need to detonate one of them, take him with me, and then stand on here. Maybe I don't even need to take that with me. Come on. It's going to blow up in seconds. Oh, uh, yeah, I did need it. Of course. Now we're going to have to wait twice. So, let's wait a second before we pick this one up. That should give me enough time. I suppose technically you need to do this twice because you've got to use it once for the egg and then once to get the gems at the top as well. But let's just Let's just do the egg. I'm not bothered about getting the gems. Ah! Uh, and I need it there as well. This bit's a bit tedious. Okay, we're finally out of that section. Clever. I've got to time it so that he gets hit by the enemy underneath. Ha! Huh, that's great. Uh, hopefully I didn't need him. No. Oh, maybe I did. Let's go and grab him again. What's the point of that? It didn't even take me anywhere. Where am I meant to be going now? Uh, where am I meant to go now? See if there's anything down here. Nope.
So... Do I need to just stay on that for longer? Oh, I need to take the key back, don't I? That's where I got confused last time. I don't understand what the point of having that there is, though, if you can just go across there anyway. So, there must be a door in here that uses that key. Somewhere. There it is. It wasn't even hard to find. There's the next generator, two out of three. Man, another really long level. Ow! Okay. At least this one's not as complicated as the other one. You just gotta carry it through those spikes. That was a lot easier. Oh, no cutscene this time. Okay, now watch me fail miserably as I try and escape. Run for it, Wario style! Again! I know not to overthink it this time. I just take the uh, take the most obvious path. Uh, which I thought would be that way, but it doesn't look like I can go back that way. I'm overthinking it again. Ah! No, I can't blow that up because he's down there. Yeah, hurry up. Uh, now I've got to go and grab him again. I hope this is the right way. No, I'm dead. Is that it? So I just need to get out there? Oh my god, did I make it? Yes! With like one second to spare. Wow. One more to go. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That was close. I don't know what's going on. I'm not actually controlling this. Am I supposed to be dodging things? It's like a Smash Bros. stage. Just enjoy the scenery. Okay, there's some obstacles. Why have I got you? Ah, okay, that didn't work. What? Okay. I don't understand what just happened then. Am I supposed to go around him? Let's see. Well, I've got three hearts this time anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I get hit. Oh, it just didn't work last time. I just glitched. I wasn't doing anything wrong. That's annoying when things like that happen. Oh, maybe it's because I was too far away. Who is controlling this? Why are they so bad at flying? Why? Why would you do that? What sort of maneuver is that? Look how his feet go under the wing of the airplane. Shoddy. Uh.
Oh, okay, that wasn't very good. Uh -huh. Yeah, the plane's fine, apparently. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, throw it over the side. That's okay. Feed him to that? Really? Seems like a waste. Hey, I like it. It gives you an extra chance. Am I on the way to the third one now? I guess I am. Ah! Whoops. What's the point of that one? Oh, I to use it to get up there. Ah, no! Damn it. Why am I getting owned by these bomb enemies? Bomb bombs. Oh god, that was close. Yes. Miss time jumps. Enemies patrol in the ledges. I like that there's actually some precision platforming involved. The first game felt very lenient, but this one, now that I'm further into the game, actually feels like there's some skill involved, which is great. Is that going to move? Yeah, I think all of those single blue platforms like that are like uh, transporting ones. Where am I going? Oh my god. That's gonna hurt when he lands. Oh, he's fine. Really? What's the point of that? Ah! Ah, I forgot it doesn't do it straight away. I can throw that at it to speed it up, I guess. Hope the day is treating me well. Yeah, thank you. Had a good day at work. For those of you that don't know, I just started a new job, so it's still fresh and exciting for me at the minute. So I'm enjoying that. Oh, I don't know how to get any higher. Maybe I have to pick another enemy up and then come back. Or just don't bother. But yeah, my day was good. How was yours? How has everyone's days been? Love the new job vibes. Yeah, I love it. I've got an empty calendar. That was a dream just a few months ago. I actually have time to learn things and, you know, actually do some proper projects from scratch, which is great. Ah, oh, I did that wrong. Uh, it's got to be something to do with that bomb one. Yeah, almost empty calendar. I was getting so annoyed at my old job, I was literally in meetings all day and I could never actually do any work, it was getting that bad. So yeah, at the minute I only have one meeting every morning and then I'm just free to actually do some work or 
talk to people in the team. And I don't know how to do this bit. Uh, maybe I just have to do it faster. No, I've done it wrong. Bring him inside first. Do these two quick. And then jump off him like that. Yeah, there we go. I love those puzzles, they're so clever. I knew I would get hit twice. Oh, now it just wants to move on its own. Timed ring attack as well. Whoa, where am I? Not that far away. Uh, oh! Oh, what? Why did he blow up then? He didn't blow up the other time I threw him over there. Oh, what? That's not fair. You guys saw that, right? Sometimes the game just doesn't input things at the right time, I think. No! Oh, I didn't even need that heart. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna wait again. Come back! Turn round! Turn round! Turn round! Sure. Yeah, I blame the choppy frame rate for not registering my inputs at the right time. See! I did that! I mean, I didn't do that. I mean, the game did that. I mean, don't look! Why am I streaming this? You can all see how incompetent I am. Okay, I'm concentrating now. I need more tea. I need more tea. I've only got two lives left. Okay. I had some tea and choked on it. Some more caffeine. Where's my gamer G Fuel? Yes! Just talking about the G Fuel did it. There we go. Where's my sponsorship? <laughs> Someone clip that and send it to G Fuel. That's how Twitch works, right? Someone tell Red Bull I couldn't get past a stage in Klonoa. They'll sponsor me. Rocket! 
No! Yay, got the key. Can I jump up there? No. No, he's going to blow up before I can get to him. My god, this level is so long. I think I've said that about every level, but wow. This one just doesn't stop. Ah, oh, now I've got to do this in reverse. Yes, G Fuel, save me! Oh, I don't need him there. He could have actually hurt me, he could have sent me into the blue flames. Okay. Last one of these egg challenges. Here we go, here we go. Why is it taking me the long way round? I can see it right there. What is this path? Uh, okay, what is going on? Do I need to get these ones out of the way? Is that it? That was weirdly easy. What? Really? What the hell? That was the easiest one. Okay, yeah, they only last like a second. And then they explode. Now I've got to figure out which way to run. I can't believe I beat that last one with like half a second to go. Good job that didn't try and send me back then, because I jumped back on it. That would have been really annoying. Uh, I think I might need him. Oh, really? I've got to do this? I gotta do the G fuel section. Yeah. This bit now is the officially the G fuel section. Look at that. Mad gamer skills. There we go, number three finished. Now we've gotta do another weird plane section. Just going to watch it very slowly explode, and that's the end of the stage. Yay, one step closer to the end. So, have we saved Dreamland yet? Kingdom of Sorrow. Let's go even more emo. So, this is the fifth kingdom. Are we too late? No, we still have time. The Ark open, only opened the path. You can still save the world if you defeat the King of Sorrow. Come on, Klonoa, a world filled with sorrow, that wouldn't be right. Ung. Uh, weird dream. There you go. Learina, you wait here. Don't worry, we'll stop him. Don't underestimate Leonira. Learina, the Sky Pirate. I'll be right behind you. Kingdom of Sorrow, where sunsets dream. Weirdly eerie music. that one gonna do? What? What's the point of that? I could have just used a normal enemy. That didn't make any difference. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I was looking at the other screen then, I almost missed that jump. Oh, two sentences. I gave you two words, sorry. Well, Starlax got you covered. Ah! How am I supposed to do that in one jump? Yeah, there we go. Oh no, missed it. Ah. Is it worth getting that egg? I might actually see what a game over looks like. I gotta do it from on there. I only need 39 more gems. Okay. Oh, what? How fast do I have to be with these? Ah! Uh, oh my god, this is getting annoying. Yay! Like, you have to do it perfect, like. Why is he so creepy? Why is he staring at me like that? Okay. Okay. He's going to just walk after me. Slowly. Why is this so weird? Okay, what? That was a very strange section. Ah, oh, maybe I should have gone left there. There was, uh, there was some gems in those whirlpool sections. Unless it loops round. Ah, uh, damn it. Hey, I got an extra life. Well, there we go. I just used it. Stop staring at me. Okay, that bit's easy. Oh, was the bit down there the bit I just came from? I guess that makes sense. There wasn't a secret path. Ah, oh, again? See, it's the game that's doing that, not me. My timing's perfect. It's the game. It's Namco deciding to use Unity. I'm concentrating this time. G Fuel moment number two. Yes! Anytime I'm in a tricky situation, just say the word G Fuel, apparently. Don't even need to drink it, just say the word. Oh man, I've only got one life left. Ah, I'm scared. Is that what I'm meant to do? Okay, no, they're both coming after me. Ah, oh, no, what? Can I just keep... Breaker! Ah, 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 ah. Oh god, oh god. Ah, ah, ah. 
Ah! Oh my god, my hands are sweating. Right, one more hit. Wow, that was close. Yay! Oh my god. Oh, that's where the key goes. Ah, sweaty palms. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> ah! This game's turned into a nightmare. How did that not hit me? Did you see how far down that spike was? Okay, what's going on now? Uh, I've got to keep going higher up. I hate the controls on that thing, it's so sensitive. Whoa, whoa! He's new. That was close. Hey, somehow I've got three lives again. I didn't think those platforms would last long. You're not going to throw it? Okay. Fine by me. I'll bring him with me just in case. Whoa, that was close. Oh. Shoot, I didn't need him there, did I? No. I need one of them up here. Huh, you can just stay on it long enough for it to reappear. Ah, oh, that was close. Yes. Checkpoint. And I've got four lives. This is probably my favourite level so far, actually. Just because it's, uh, it's actually... It's actually challenging. Very challenging. Yes. I think I've done everything so far. Yeah, now we get another one of these colored puzzles. Not like that. Okay. Mania. What? You have to be really precise. Uh, we might be here a while, guys. There's one. Okay. We won't be here a while. That actually went very well. There's at least a lot of checkpoints here, so you can never get too frustrated. Uh, what do I need to do here? Come back to that one last, maybe? No, that's not going to work. Oh yeah, they regenerate, so maybe I just need to take out the one on the end, use him as a platform, ah, use him as a platform really fast to get all the way up to the top. Oh my god, yes, that's it, you have to be super fast, wow. Okay, I get it. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Yes, and now double jump. That's it, and then bring back down here. Yeah, I love these puzzles. There we go. Oh no. Now I have to do it on disappearing floor. Oh, that was easy. I thought that would be more difficult than that. Yay!
Uh, that was close. Oh, uh, no, I thought I would just grab straight back onto it. Oh, the moth just came in the room. You might see him on the camera in a second. He's going to be putting me off as well, man. Ah, that's better. Ah, I hurt my thumb then. Yeah, not too bad. Who lives here? Why is there a sofa there? Why is there a table and chairs and a weird skull mask hanging from the ceiling? That's creepy. Would you choose to live in a place like this? I presume the place isn't meant to look like this. This is like since the weird nightmare dream thing took over. <laughs> Don't bring logic into the dream world. Everything else makes perfect sense, right? Like these weird fruit with wings. There's someone else's house. They have an egg in their kitchen. That makes sense. They have an egg in the kitchen. Not anymore, though. Sorry, whoever lives there. I destroyed your only food supply. Your single egg. What sort of pizza do I think Clonoa likes? Um, uh, a really weird pizza made of egg and weird fruit. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> Back to market to pick up my weird egg that's got a jigsaw piece inside. Hey, oh no, what? I was about to say, hey, I just did that perfect and then I died. I'm not going to bother trying to get the rest of them. I may have already said it before, but I hate how this helicopter controls. Let's just get out of here. Okay, now we've got two of them. I think I've got the timing down for these now. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that annoying what hurt sound. Yeah, stay on the bottom there. Yay, that wasn't too bad. Nicely timed there as well. Ah, oh, although I should have picked that up first to get some extra gems. Good mind. I got some extra there. Ow. I didn't think that would come back for some reason. Helicopter time. Will it last long enough? It's a 
to go all the way around. Ah! Almost! Not quite. Three coins. What are the coins again? Does anyone remember what the coins do? Yeah, I kind of cheated there. What do the coins do? Are they lives? Do they just instantly give you an extra life? Yeah. That's good. I did go down to one life at one point, so I'm glad I've got some more now. I think it knew I was going to struggle there, so it just gave me a bunch of lives. Do I need to pick him up? Uh... Oh no! I don't think I'm going to be able to. Who lives here? Why would you live there? Right next to a cliff and nothing else. Is this, is this their back garden? Very interesting design choices. Do I need to grab hold of that? I don't know whether I'm going to be able to. No. Let's hope I didn't need to. <laughs> you like the view. Just don't walk out in the middle of the night and not realise where you are. <laughs> yeah, nice garden. Love the spikes. Okay, we found something. Ice cream cone tower. Vision clear. That was a good level. I like that one. Just the right amount of challenge. Moving on. I wonder how many there are left now. Not many. Two left! Okay guys, we're right near the end. Look at all these levels we've been through. Nearly done. Help me, help me, help me! Who can that be? I don't know, but I've been hearing that voice for the longest time and it's asking for help. For help? Come on, we'll find the answer. Up there. Ooh, I like how this one looks. The Forgotten Path. Rainbow Ride. Oh no, I missed one. More creepy music. Oh, how am I supposed to get them? I'm sure I was going as fast as I could then. Oh, yeah, you can hold up to go slightly faster. Oh, I'm doing alright so far. Yeah, now we get an F-Zero level again. Ah, that's that's weird how they don't rotate with you. Ah, uh, come on, you can turn. Like the Pac-Man on Klonoa's hat. I always thought that was a nice touch. I wonder if the whole level's going to be like this. I 
It'd be pretty cool to have a whole level like this, make a change. Usually these snowboarding levels are side-scrolling. Oh, oh no! I was doing so well! This is where I'm going to use up all my lives. I take it back. I don't want a whole level like this. Look how narrow this path is. Uh, I'm doing okay so far. That was close. It's kind of slippery. Like It, it may not look like it, but you have to keep tap in the direction to stay in the, in the right angle. Yes. Oh, I almost jumped over the checkpoint then. Oh, I want the gem. Yes, got another one. Nearly got six lives again. Almost. Oh, this bit looks easy. Ah, oh, that's it. I really like that stage. I wish that was longer. I was saying the other one was too long. I wish that one was longer. Does that mean there's only one level left now, then? Is this the final stage? Let's find out. Are you the King of Sorrow? You're here to stop me? You've come here to banish sorrow, right, Klonoa? Explain yourself. What were you planning to do by making the fifth bell appear in our world? Making it appear? No, the fifth bell was always part of your world. It was always there, but you pulled the veil over your eyes and refused to see it. Huh? We refused to see it? When people encounter sorrow, they try to forget it and pretend it never existed at all. So I used the Ark to lift Lunatea's veil so all that you could save... Also that you could save the Kingdom of Sorrow so that Lunatea could once again remember. So that we would save... Welcome, Dream Traveller. You were led on with false prophecies. You false saviors of a foolish world. What? Master Baguji? If sorrow is so unwelcome here, who cares if this world is destroyed? Let the world be consumed by sorrow. It was I who brought you here, the dream traveller this far. So that you may atone for the sins of this world, Klonoa. Yeah, dude! Let's atone for some sins! Radical! So the final level is the special stage from Sonic Heroes. Got it. I'm guessing I need to avoid these. Ah, I probably should have picked that up. I love this early 2000s boss aesthetic. They were always so weird, like when you get to the end of the end of these sort of games. I love it. You don't get like really weird out there ideas like this anymore. Yeah, where's Crush 40? Oh, hey, oh, Shadow! You'll be hearing that soon. The music's a bit dull in this, honestly. Should be a bit more exciting. 
Is that it? Well, that's part one finished, anyway. No? Is that everything? Wow, that was like the fastest loading screen ever. Why? Why do you hate sorrow? Can't you accept sorrow at all? Is there no place for me in this world? Don't flatter yourself. Fleerina, you isolated yourself from this world, thinking that you're the only one who's sad. You make me sick. Fleerina, you make me... You make me want to cry. Well, good. Isn't that the point? But no way, he's a mass of pure sorrow. Show him the elements from the other kingdoms. Tranquility, joy, discord, and indecision. Why they picked those? That's weird. I don't know whether that's in relation to, like, a story or a fairy tale or something. Make him remember what the real world is all about. I am sorrow. I hope you're all crying watching this stream. <laughs> You'll be crying when I sing along with all the Crush 40 songs in Sonic. Ah! Yeah, here we go, proper boss fight time. What do I need to do? Not that. So, do I... Do I... What do I do? What do I do? Throw it at the other one? I have no idea what's going on. What do I need to do with that? Mr. Indifferent. Where's Mr. Discord? Ind indecisive, wasn't it? Do I need to hit the other one from behind? No? Guys, any idea? Is that actually doing anything? Come on, I can catch up with it. Oh, it is very slowly doing something. Just keep shooting in there. Whoa, okay, whoa, that went crazy. Through the green orbs, it takes many hits. Yeah, wow, that takes a lot of hits. And you've got to try and dodge all these things at the same time. Go and get that heart quick. Okay, I think I get it. You just have to keep shooting it. Come here. Okay, there's another heart. Oh my god, it's difficult to see where these are coming from. Oh, ah! Oh, it landed on me! Mr. Discord mod. Where's Editor? He's my Discord mod. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh god! Oh, do I need to jump and hit him? That seems to be making more of a difference. Don't even need that heart yet. Will it stay? Oh, I think I used it anyway. Whoops. Oh, that was close. Okay, part one complete. Well, I didn't take any damage that time either. Excellent. What have you got for me this time? Yeah, drop it on my head, sure. And get rid of the heart. Thanks. Uh, I wonder if you can time that. Going to shoot down on me? Come on then. Just 
Let's go. Go and get that. Did I even do any damage then? I think I'm doing a little bit of damage. Just gonna get that heart again while we can. Oh no, I don't even need it! Yay! Second part complete. Is it gonna be a third phase? Hey! Vision clear. That wasn't too bad actually. You get all the stars, you get a rocket launcher. And it's secretly Resident Evil 9. Win. And then you fly off in a helicopter and the tower blows up. Please help me. You lover. I'll help you, that's why I came here after all. You don't have to run anymore. You don't have to be afraid. The voice calling me. The one crying out to the world for help. It was you, wasn't it? I... The world, it won't forget sorrow anymore. Klonoa. And no one will run away anymore. After all, we've come too far to turn back, right? Yes, you're right. Let's all be sad together. The sadness is spreading. Klonoa 1 is about childhood and losing your innocence. Klonoa 2 is about the struggle of growing up through adolescence and that's why they chose more complex emotions like tranquility, discord, sorrow, etc. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I guess it's also nice to think that the people who played the first game as a kid would have been entering their teenage years when the sequel came out. So that would have been really good to play this around the time. I think you could have got a lot of emotional connection to the game. If, if you played it like at the ages that they intended the game to be played at, that would have been really good. Now that's what I call a picture-perfect moment. Hey Lolo, I noticed something a while back. Doesn't Klonoa remind you just a little of the goddess Claire, maybe? Yes, he does. Exactly, that's why Klonoa has aged up a little bit. I was lucky enough to experience the two games that way. Oh, wow. That was good. I think I was, uh, I don't know, 17 or 18 when I played my first one, so I kind of missed out on the, the whole feels of the game. But I still enjoyed them a lot. Yeah, I never actually had them... You know, back when they were new. I think I got it for like my birthday one year for the PS1. And then I tracked the other games down. Lee Arena's really excited about rebuilding the Kingdom of Sorrow, isn't she? Yeah. I need to work hard too. This time I'm going to make Priestess on my own. With no help from Klonoa's magic ring of Priestess powers. You gave up your title? Uh-huh. But don't worry, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying, even if I fail. After all, I mustn't give the King of Sorrow reason to cry again, right? Uh-huh. Lolo, you can do it. I have faith in you. I love this Dreamcast style environment. It would have been perfect for that system. 
It does have a very Sega feel to it. So is this goodbye? Of course, Lunatea isn't your world, is it? You have to go home, right? You have a home to go to after all, right? Lolo. It's okay, I knew this was coming. I'm fine, really. I'll be fine, because I'm going to do my best. And you taught me it's okay to cry, as long as I don't give up. So... So... It's okay if I cry, right? Oh. Give the weird cat rabbit a big hug before he goes. Ooh woo. I'll take a screenshot of it. Ooh woo. I may leave this world, but we'll always be together. I believe that if you don't forget the sadness of this moment, we'll always be together, okay? Oh, I'm wearing up. Wow. So, Lolo. Thanks. I'm just going to disappear and leave them to rebuild the kingdom. Can I go now? I have more assignments. I have another game to star in. Although technically there was no Klonoa 3. Maybe there will be, but I don't think this one did very well though, unfortunately. And that is the end of Klonoa 2. I hope you all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And once again, a very emotional ending, just like the first game. So, I'll leave it to play through the credits to see whether anything happens after. Next time, I think, I, w I won't be here next Tuesday, or mon Monday, isn't it? Yeah, I won't be here next Monday, but the Monday after, I'll um, probably play through the GBA game. I'll see whether I can do all that in one sitting. So, if you enjoy Klonoa, then definitely check back again in a few weeks' time. Uh, 2 was not a commercial success, nor was the remake. Fingers crossed for this one. The Wii make, yeah. I don't know whether any of them were a commercial success, honestly. Not many of us bought them. I've got them all over there because I'm planning to do a video. I did play through the Wii one when that came out. I actually got that one on day one. Uh, yeah, I said I'll follow you on Twitter after the after the stream, so don't don't worry. I don't want to check my phone while I'm streaming. Oh, is this going to go through all the different languages? I don't even know if there's going to be anything at the end of it. Just enjoy the music. I'll go and get the other games while it's playing through these. Here they are. 
So like I was saying earlier, I've only got the Japanese version of the second one for the GBA. But hopefully it's not too story heavy. So I can play that because I don't want to spend like £100 uh, to track down the English one. I have the Japan only Klonoa Heroes that I got recently. That one's the RPG for the GBA that recently got a fan translation. So I'm really looking forward to playing that one soon. Should be really interesting. I've also got here the Wonderswan game, Moonlight Museum which is a really interesting one. It basically plays the same as the GBA games, but the way you play it, some of the levels are actually vertical. So with the Wonder Swan, you can turn the game around as you're playing it. Obviously, there's the one that we've just finished. A fantasy Reverie series. There's a Wii remake. I got that one on day one. There it is. Really good remake. In fact, I think that the one on the modern consoles is actually based on, on that game. And there's the original version of Klonoa 2 for the PS2, with a really plain cover. I never really liked that cover much. And the back also looks a bit weird. <laughs> Good morning, Retro Break. Good night, actually. I'm just about to head off to bed soon. Um, this is something that I picked up recently. This is the soundtrack for Klonoa 1, which I've not actually opened. So let's see whether the disc looks interesting. And as we finish the game... Um, Let's put it on full camera so you can see this. So let's see if there's anything interesting inside here. Oh, that's really nice. Look at that. Look at that really nice artwork there. That's really cool. And there's a second disc as well. So let's see what that is. If I can get to it. Oh, cool. There's a nice picture on the, on the back there. That's just got some more more songs on, and we have a nice render of uh, Klonoa on there as well. So that is a really nice little set. And then finally, the original one for the GBA, which Risu2 actually bought me for my birthday many, many years ago. So thanks for that. And I'll be playing that one next, I think. Um, there are two bonus levels, if you didn't do those yet. As with number one, you unlock a sound test. Cool. The second disc is Shadow. Get emote suggestions. Right, before I go, everyone put in the in the comments what emotes would you like? Sure, you can have a Shadow the Hedgehog one. Such a simp. You even made me a Klonoa pillow back in the day. Do you remember that? Woo. Right. Any emotes, anyone? Also, I'm going to end the stream. Got 10 seconds. Five. No, nope. no, nope. we're just getting shadow. We're just getting shadow. <laughs> Get me. She's already drawn me. I could probably just put a PNG. Don't care. Boo! Yeah, I even have a little box. Put an emote in the chat. I'm going to put some in there. I've got some random ones, apparently. Let's see if they pop up in that box. Yeah, there we go. Oh, someone's just joined just as I was wrapping up. Hopefully you can join me next time. Right. Yep. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to go offline now, but thank you so much for sticking with me through this game. I really, really enjoyed playing it, and join me on Thursday when I'll be playing Sonic Advance next. All right. See ya!